Okay, I feel I feel like we only need one game for Rogue. I feel like we're gonna we're gonna knock this out one game with Rogue. That's very very optimistic, but let's see how it goes. Okay, so Rogue and Aggression. So this is actually a game that I, I'm kind of excited for. I again I have not play tested this deck because I was I was running into leadership with Magnet or running into leadership. I was taking leadership against Magneto. And that just was not working out super well. And so I kind of had this idea right before I went to bed last time to, or last night to drop, um, drop this red deck. And so let's, let's see how the red deck works. Um, let's talk about it. So we've got Wolverine. Wolverine is out here for damage piercing. And mainly just to stick around on the table. We want Wolverine on the table so we can recur um, our drop kicks. So drop kicks can be recurred with energy transfer or superpower adaptation if touch is on Wolverine. And so ideally we can throw touch on Wolverine and get drop kicks back, which starts our stun engine. Other ways that we're going to be stunning is Mockingbird. And yeah, that's it. So we got three copies of Dropkick. We got Mockingbird and ideally three more copies with Superpower. So if we can be pulling back these Dropkicks, hopefully we'll be able to just continuously stun mags. Um, we got Snowguard. Um, this is out here to help us just have a one, a three thwarter. So Snowguard is going to be sitting out here probably with the three thwart the aerial trait and that's going to allow us to go grab go for champions so if we throw a touch on snow guards we get the champion trait and we can recur go for champions which means that we don't take any damage outside of that we got the locust which is going to pull more um physical resources for it, or more drop kicks for us we got spider-man to help us with that side scheme We'll have Champion, ideally, so we can have Moon Girl. We've got Ironheart. We got Prof to help with side schemes. Vivian, and then Sunfire. So Sunfire is going to help us get rid of those attachments. Vivian is going to help us blank those attachments or the minions, which will help us. We got Helicarrier Avengers Mansion. We got our resources. We got Audacity to help with the Tufts, as well as it's a wild resource to trigger drop kicks. We got X Gene. X Jet, Def Focus, and Power in all of us. So, hopefully, that's going to be good enough. The idea is just to recur drop kicks over and over and over again and just continuously stun. Once we have Helicarrier, once we have um, X Jet, Helicarrier and X Jet, and one physical resource will trigger drop kick. So, that's the idea. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> um, I'm hoping that it will be good enough I, also so we basically have two options right we have the options to stun with drop kicks recurring with locust recurring with um, superpower or we can recur go for our champions so th those are kind of the two options hey Jeff thank you for the follow Hope you're doing well. Okay. So we will shuffle everything up. We've got one card or one encounter card. Actually, let's pull the, the obligation is cannot be the card that gets dealt to us because that is after this setup. So let's go ahead and just shuffle all of these up. Let's hopefully get all of the bad cards at the bottom. Doing great. Thanks for the welcome. Yeah, thanks for joining. Do you have a favorite hero from Marvel Champions? Okay. Come on. Let's get a win. Let's get a win. This is going to be our card. We're going to shuffle the obligation in now. The obligation is tricky here because if, if the obligation is on like mags or something, it's a surprise to thwart or to threat, which is not great. You don't own it. Try it on TTS, but rules confuse me. That's not hard. So we'll watch you and hopefully learn. 
it's a great game. It is a very complex game. Um, I will go ahead and say that this is probably not the matchup or the characters. These, I think this is one of the most complex villains and one of the most complex heroes uh, going up against each other. Um, if you are, if you have seen my YouTube channel, I have a couple of like, um, first plays and kind of methodically talking through, I suggest there. And then also, um, I'm sure there, there's some good, um, there's some good, uh, first plays out there. That being said, happy to have you here. Happy to have you here. Um, but just know that not every single interaction is going to be this complicated. And I don't, I don't want this to be a turnoff of the game for you. So, <laughs> hey, Beast Snow, you really need to catch up on these games so you can watch streams again. Yeah, you should. Where? Are you? Come on. No, I'm just kidding. How's everyone going? Heroes. Okay. So Mag starts with the boarding party, and we got bulletproof bell. We've got going rogue. Going rogue is huge for us right now. Going rogue is big because it can clear an entire boarding party for us. We got X Jet Audacity Genius. Mags needs a tough. So we'll toss the Bulletproof Bell. We'll probably toss the Audacity. The Audacity gets us X-Jet. Strength gets us going Rogue. Whatever we draw into could be nice. Um. Yeah, I, okay, let's do this. Let's just mulligan the one Bulletproof Bell. If it's touched, I'm going to throw something. Okay, Southern Cross, sweet. Now let's go find touched. Actually, we probably should have hung on to Bulletproof Bell now that I'm looking at it. But here we are. Um, the reason being is we're, pro we're throwing touched on Magneto, and so we could have prevents it the damage but whoops okay what i have started doing is i've started placing the retaliate token on touched so that i remember that we have retaliate because that is something that i can never remember okay let's flip up to rogue we'll go ahead and throw touched onto the villain we will go audacity and genius which will knock off the tough to play the x jet um we've got X-Jet and Southern Cross to play Going Rogue. Which is going to remove three. And Confuse. Or Halfway Confuse. Because we have Retaliate. And then we will thwart two here. Leave this with one. And we'll hang on to the strength. Stand up. Go for Champions. Superpower. I put so many allies in this deck. I put an incredible amount of allies in this deck. How have we not seen one? Okay, there's Wolf. Okay, cool. I'll stop. Never mind. I, sh I need to just draw the cards before I start complaining. <laughs> so we got Mags swinging at us for three. Um, three plus a boost card. We have 11 health. We're not going to be an Alter Ego that much. We can play... We can play Wolves and hang on to Superpower. Hopefully grab a Dropkick. Um, wolves can thwart here, I guess, instead of dealing the damage. We're gonna take. We're gonna take it. So it's gonna be three plus. Give Magneto a tough card and a face down boost card. So three plus one is four. So we got one, two, three, four, and a tough card. First one is Assault O. So Mags is going to attack us for three. I forgot to put my Magnet Counter out there. Three, defend for two. So we'll take three. One, two, three. Okay, we're already down to four. And then we got Sinyaka. Cool. And I have Retaliate um, one before he had the tough. Okay, yeah. So he attacked... When um, boost gave him the tough status card, retaliate knocks off the tough, and then he attacked again, so we deal one damage. Retaliate adds up. Retaliate adds up a lot. 
Okay, so here we are. Um, touch comes here. We'll go strength, go for an X jet to play Wolvie. Um, do we, do we just go lose the main right now? I think we probably do to get rid of these counters. So let's have Wolverine go ahead and thwart one here. This goes to the victory display. We get orbital decay. Oh. Um, and we'll flip down. Superpower will pay for X gene. No idea if that's a good call. No idea if that's a good call. But here we are. So we'll stand up. We'll draw Helicarrier, Snow Guard. Energy, Gambit, that's four, Mansion is five, and Bulletproof Bell is six. Okay. So we're going to add one. Mags is going to scheme for two plus two. It's four. So this pops. We have Orbital Decay. All right, we have uh, that into in the Victory Display, so we don't need to find anything. That comes in with one. Sinyaka is going to scheme for one. Then we've got an encounter card. We've got the topmost magnetic card. So that's going to be scheming for two plus two. So we lose the main. Give Magneto a tough card and a face time boost card. He's scheming for a ton. We're already on stage three. Um, and then we have to attach the topmost magnetic card. Okay, well, this didn't work out. This did not work out. Um, which would have been Magnetic Bubble. I think we scoop. Like, I... I hmm. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we're going to come here. This says two. This is at one. He's got Magnetic Bubble. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> insane insane we have four health wolvie heals one he, he just like yeah he just he just runs over also i i have found out that i am always going to draw an activate or a secondary activation if i roll down there is no way that i don't he doesn't scheme twice it's impossible so Um, Mansion can draw a card. <sighs> um, we're just not, we're just not in a good situation. We could go bulletproof bell. It would be nice to get Snowguard out there. Snowguard could thwart down the three here. Be it, it's really nice to get Mansion out. Mansion draws us a card, and then we just we we wouldn't be able to play Snowguard. Um. So let's hang on to Helicarrier. Okay. Um. So let's flip up to Rogue. We'll go Energy, X Jet, and Snow Guard to play Mansion. Mansion is going to exhaust and grab us a Rogue's Jacket. Bulletproof Bell feels like it needs to be played. Or else I feel like I'm just going to... Actually, I think I die. <laughs> like, because this is going to gain piercing. I'm at four health. 
I just I I have yeah. So if we don't we we actually I don't think we play bulletproof bell because bulletproof bell is going to prevent this damage. Sinyaka is just going to pierce it right off. Um Yeah. Um if that is the case, then what do we do for the attack? I Well, I still think we have to play Bulletproof Bell. So let's hang on to Gambit. Let's use a Helicarrier to play a Jacket. Touch goes on to Mags. We'll thwart and thwart to get rid of Orbital Decay. And then we will... Well, hang on to Gambit. Stand up. Spider-Man, Def Focus, Dropkick. There it is, two, four, five. Sweet. So we got one. Mags is going to attack. X-Gene will go Bulletproof Bell. So it's going to attack for three plus two. Prevents all the damage. We get a tough. We place a third magnet counter. Discard cards until we get a magnetic card. We place the top six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sinyaka is going to attack. Knocks the top off. We'll block. And we'll take one damage. Oh, also this. We're going to go tough here. I, I don't... Wolverine blocks in Yaka. I like the retaliate. I think I, I, I think I like taking the block and the retaliate here. So we can... We can... We can kill. I don't know. I don't know. Gotta run. Glad I found your channel. Check out your YouTube videos. Awesome. Nice to nice to meet you. See you around. Um, Wolverine to block Sinyaka. When does piercing happen? I think it's when you become the target of the attack. So like, if Wolverine steps into block Sinyaka, does piercing just not target the tough? I, th I assume that's how that works. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh, well, that would kill Wolverine. And I don't think I want to kill Wolverine. Let's just do this. Let's go one. We got that. Okay. The counter card is Zeal for the Cause. We are stunned. Well, okay. We're going to scoop here because that kills the dropkick. What is Avenger? Gives us Ironheart. Yeah. That, that was a rough. That was rough. We got... The encounter deck was not friendly to us there. I'm going to scoop just because I do want to get another game in before I have to go. And I feel like we will lose this game. And I want to... If we lose the game, if we go on longer, then we will lose. And it will just be too long. for So I won't be able to try it again. So let, let's go ahead and scoop. And let's, let's try this. Let's try one more game. I, I want to win. I feel like... We've been, I feel like this deck can do it. I feel like this deck can do it. Um, I'm curious how, I'm curious about the Gambit. I want to go back. I need to go back to the drawing board and get a win with Gambit. I, I got a win with Gambit with that deck. It's just, I don't know. All righty. Let's do it. Let's do it. Losing that second stage was not great. Boarding party starts out here. Swap this out for a tough. And let's go. All righty. <laughs> insane insane it's 
if this is the obligation, then we'll just, we'll draw a new one. Okay. We got Mockingbird. Go for Champions. Audacity. Vivian. Energy transfer, two, four, five, six. Bulletproof Bell. Okay. So we'll. We don't need Bulletproof Bell. We don't need energy. Oh, well, we could use energy transfer. It's probably not worth it. Vivian. We could. Could we drop Vivian? We couldn't play Gopher Champions, though. Um. I'm going to hang on to Mockingbird and probably toss the rest of the hand. We don't have any building blocks. Vivian is actually a two thwart. So I may hang on to Vivian. We don't really have a side scheme or anything that we can target for her ability. I guess we could target this, but we're not dealing more than six damage on the turn. So with that being said, Mockingbird is effectively the same amount of thwart as Vivian. Because... Rogue thwarts two, Mockingbird thwarts one, and we get the stun. Let's do that. Let's toss five cards. Got Snow Guard. Okay, that's interesting. Going Rogue is excellent. Dropkick is not great now. Two, four, five, and Sunfire. Let's go find our Touched. Snow Guard is great. Snow Guard is great. Snow Guard is great right now. Because we can throw her in with three and with her activations she can clear the side schemes it just takes a couple of turns but it can happen going rogue is another way to do that but i think snow guard is going to be a little bit better bang for our buck so we got one two three four for snow guard um or we could go two for going rogue but we don't have anything to pay for Mockingbird. And so, yeah, let's get Snowguard out there. We'll get the counters. I think we hang on to Sunfire. Yeah, we hang on to Sunfire because Sunfire can grab drop kicks with superpowers, which we have two more in the deck. Or we hang on to drop kick. No, we'll just do this. Okay, so we've got Snowguard. We're going to spend four. We're going to place two counters on her, meaning that she gets plus three thwart and the aerial trait. We will flip up to rogue. Snow guard will go ahead and thwart three here, which flips boarding party. We'll thwart two here. Because now rogue can take this. Snow guard can clear next turn. So... And Sunfire will hang on to. Touch will go on to Mags. Got Southern Cross. X-Gene. Power in all of us. That's four. And Prof. Oh, okay. Okay. Not, not bad. Not bad. We got a three attack coming in. We will... Do we block? Yeah, I think we block here. Because we can... Prof and Snow Guard can clear... The side scheme. And then he'll be confused. We can roll down and X-Gene can handle it. Okay. Yeah. So we'll block a three. Exhaust each ally you control. That changes things. Bummer. Okay. Shoot. Okay. Retaliate knocks the top off. We place a magnet counter. This is under fire. Surge, reveal the top card of the encounter deck. This is also dealt to us. Okay, so we got advanced. So the villain's scheming for two plus one. So we lose Asteroid M. We go find a... This is horrible. This is horrible. We got an M type. I didn't realize Magneto had such a personal vendetta against Rogue. So we got the M type. We've got Exhaustion Surge, Exhaust Your Identity card. That surges into Magnetic Bubble. And then we've got Delgado. That was awful. That was awful. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That that was horrible. <laughs> we'll go here for prof. Prof will ready rogue. Rogue will thwart here. Prof will thwart the next one. So he's got physical strain on him now. Um, hmm. X Gene and Sunfire. We'll just toss both of these. And we will hope for the best. Stand up. Going rogue. Wolvoy. Locust. Three. Ironheart four. Energy transfer. Five. Actually, this is on Mags. We got one here. Mags is going to attack. Prof is gonna block. So three plus two is five. That kills prof. This bumps up. We've got four attack coming in. Are we really at three? No, there's no way, right? I forgot to reset my health, didn't I? <laughs> okay. Uh. So we were at or we started at eleven. Hey, Nebraska! Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Um. Okay. He attacked. He attacked for th three. He attacked for three. I blocked for two. So we took one damage. We're down. We're down to ten. And then now we're good. We're good. And then we got four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Our encounter card is seized. Because why not? One, two, three, four, five, six. Comes in with three. Okay. Touch comes back here. Huh. Um. Rogue struggles against minions. That is something that I have found out. She can struggle against some minions. We get Ironheart out, then we can play going rogue. We could go. No, we can't. We have to kill the M type before we can hit Mags with a drop kick. So how do we kill Mags? Wolvie. Hmm. An energy transfer. An energy transfer to M type. Plus a locust attack, plus a rogue attack, does it. Let's do that. So we're going to go touched onto snow guard. We get the champion trait. We're going to go go and rogue and wolverine to play the locust, which we can go grab a aggression event, which is going to be a drop kick. Then we are going to use drop kick and iron heart to play energy transfer. So we're going to move touched to the M type sentinel. We deal two damage to that card. We get to heal two. Um, we will have attacked before that. So we'll we'll attack the M-type. And then we get to ready. Okay. 
Uh, Locust will hit for one, which will kill the M-Type. Touch gets discarded. And we give Mags a tough card. We've got two here. I'm going to thwart two off the main. Snowgar can take out Seized, but I don't think we can take a hit right now. And we can't roll down because we'll lose the main. So let's stand up. Mansion. Power on all of us. Like that combo. Love this combo. Rogue's Jacket. And superpower. Alrighty, let's see what we got. We got two here. Mags is going to attack. Um, Locust will block. So it's going to be three plus one. That kills Locust. And then third counter. So we got Sinyaka. Metal shards. Deal one damage to each character you control. Place one magnet counter on the main scheme. Delgado is going to hit me for two. And our encounter card is Magnetic Missile. We don't have anything to kill, so we surge into an advance. Advance, exhaust your identity. He's scheming for two. So we don't lose the main, but also we're exhausted, which is just sad. It's just sad. Okay, so now what we can do, do we have champion we have go for champions? We do. Okay, so we can start doing some shenanigans with go for champions. So let's go find touched. Okay. So the deck is built so that we can have touched. We can go touched onto Snow Guard, superpower to grab go for champions. We can pay for go for champions. Um and we have champions until the end of the round. Snowguard has champions, and we can, oh, and then we can we can actually thwart. It doesn't matter if he attacks us. We we can just take a lot. Um, go for champions is a dumb card. I will say that it's a really really strong card. If we go mansion, we draw a card. Touch goes here. Superpower. We will not be able to pay for go for champions, so it's not worth dropping mansion at this point. Okay. But I think that is the best thing to do. So let's go touch onto Snow Guard. We'll play Superpower Adaptation to go grab Go for Champions. Put that into our hand. We will pay a Rogue's Jacket and the Power of All of Us to play Go for Champions, meaning that any champion cannot take damage until the end of the round. Snow Guard will go ahead and thwart for three. She cannot take damage. So Seized is done. Mags activates. We will take it. So it's going to be three plus two. We don't take any damage. Add a magnet counter. And we get Spider Man, Going Rogue, Superpower, Genius, Southern Cross, and Drop Kick back. And do we hang on to Mansion here? I feel like I'm not built out at all. Um, what do we have? We have Helicarrier. Do we have any more superpower? We got one, two. That go for champions combo is dumb. We have another superpower adaptation in there. Um, so we could grab go for champions again. We're going to hang on to mansion, but we'll see what happens. Okay, let's stand up. Bulletproof Bell, X-Jet, that's four, and Gambit already. So we're going to place one here. Mags is going to attack us for three. This is an attack, defeats an ally, place one magnet counter. It is not an attack that defeats an ally. We don't take any damage. We do place a magnet counter, though. So we'll discard until we get, he cannot be stunned. He gets plus one attack. And then Delgado is going to hit us, but we can't take damage. Then our encounter card is an assault. What a time to pull it. Three plus zero. We cannot take damage. Go for champions is a dumb card.
Dumb in the best way. Okay. Okay. Um. We can drop a mansion. We can drop a mansion and hang on to a bulletproof bell, which again saves us for from damage. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so let's go touched up here. We get the retaliate. We're gonna go strength, gambit, X jet from mansion. Mansion will draw us a card. Which is deaf focus. I still think I, I think bulletproof bell is gonna be better than throwing the deaf focus out there. Let's go ahead and thwart two here. Yeah, the, the bulletproof bell is good. We're at five health. Okay, so let's stand up. I want to keep Snowguard around. I don't want to kill her off just because she can recur go for champions, and so she's our only champion character out there right now. So let's keep her. We've got Southern Cross, Helicarrier. And energy, so two, four, five. We've got two cards left. We will place one. Mags is going to attack. We will Southern Cross for a bulletproof bell. So three exhaust your identity. Bummer. That places one here. We took no damage, so we get a tough. Delgado is gonna hit us for two, knocking the tough off. And our encounter card is a Fabian. Uh oh. So now we have we have two, and I I think we have to block with Snow Guard. So we got one, two. Fabian's going to attack. We'll block with Snow Guard. Uh, Snow Guard dies. Because the teamwork, they both activate. Um. Okay, so. Retaliate, retaliate, retaliate. Mansion will draw us into a moon girl. That does not help us. Um, we will energy moon girl for a helicarrier. Helicarrier will play pay death focus. And I think we lose. I, I don't see this going well for us. If we flip down. If we flip down, that's the only way that we can... We can sustain ourselves, so let's flip down, and we will draw. <sighs> Is this the superpower? Okay. Maybe I just missed that we had already passed the superpower adaptation. Oh, well. Okay. Got dropkick, prof, energy, superpower, going rogue, two, four, five, and go for champions. Does not help us right now. That's fine. So we'll go one. Mags is going to scheme for two plus two. So that pops. Uh, we place two. This says one. We're scheming for one, one plus two. So four. So this says five. And then our encounter card is Magnetic Missile, which surges into an M-Type Sentinel. I was saying that I was playing this. The, the tough comes off before the, the money goes there. Okay. We're at three health. That's not ideal. This is bad. Rogue has a really hard time dealing with minions. She has a really hard time dealing with minions. Um, let's mansion into a power in all of us. Okay. Do we heal or do we attack? Let's go helicarrier and power in all of us to play prof. Prof is going to confuse mags. And then prof will thwart three.
Let's flip up to Rogue. We have, I think we have to heal. Let's heal. So we go one, two, three. Okay, uh, actually, let's do this. Let's do this. Um, so when we won't play prof yet, we're going to heal. We will flip up to rogue. We'll throw touched onto mags. Then we will use a death focus and a go for champions to play go for rogue, which will remove three and confuse. Prof, we play using everything that we did. And we're going to ready Rogue instead. So he's still confused. So we, we got that. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm happier with that outcome. Got energy and superpower to play Dropkick, which will kill Delgado. Touch is up there. We got Retaliate. We've got two. Let's just go ahead and deal two here. Uh, Delgado. Rem oh, oh mm. We could have done it so that the situation where he did not have the confused on there first, we're going to do it like that. So we're going to kill Delgado with the drop kick. Then we're going to play everything to confuse him. Just timing. Okay. Let's stand up. Gambit. Drop kick. Southern cross. Power on all of us. Ironheart. Two, four, five. We will place one. Mags is going to attack. Prof is going to block. Mags is going to attack for five. That's going to kill Prof. Third magnetic counter. Let's see what we got. Magnetic mayhem. The player who defeats the scheme discards the top four cards in the encounter deck. Places one magnet counter per card. We got four and an amplify, which is not good. We've got three damage... Three plus a boost card damage coming in at us. So let's go ahead and well, we have retaliate. So let's block. Well, it doesn't matter. We'll block. Fabian's going to attack us for three and one damage here. And we've got another M type Sentinel. Ugh. Uh, actually, this is plus one because of the Amplify. Let's see what Mansion gives us. Spider-Man. Spider-Man can kill off some Sentinels. Dropkick can kill off the Sentinel. Uh, let's go Power on All of Us for Ironheart. We get to draw a card. Bulletproof Bell. Do we think that there are any more Acolytes in here? I guess we could count the discard. Got one, two, three. I think that's all the Acolytes. So we could... Well, let's try it. Let's kill off Fabian. The player defeats this, discards cards from the encounter deck until an Acolyte minion is discarded. Put that minion into play, engage with them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there was one. It was Amelia. I forgot about Amelia. No. Okay, so she comes in. Um, so that was the worst of both worlds. That's cool. Oh, that hurts. All right, 1245. Trying to figure out if it's worth. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I, I feel like this deck can do it. I feel like this deck can do it. I feel like this is a fairly strong. It, okay. Um. We got a block here. We have to kill. I think we kill Amelia. We can do that with Southern Cross. So Helicarrier, Death Focus, and Spider-Man. 
plays Southern Cross. Um, yeah, so that will kill. That will do six. The player who defeated Amelia is confused. Oh gosh, this is we're we're not doing well. <laughs> we're not okay here. Um. Cool. Uh, actually, that is game. That that's gonna be game because Mag's gonna hit, and then we can't we can't block four. Okay, so it's twelve forty five. I really want to play. We're we are gonna play a speed round. We're gonna play a speed round. Let's go. Okay. She she has a hard time handling minions. She has a hard time handling minions. And I'm starting to wonder if go for champions is enough and we don't necessarily need the drop kicks. Okay. Man, I feel we have not I have not been doing playing well today. Well, I don't know if... Yeah. There have been a couple of blunders. Mag, Mags has just been angry. Mags is angry today. We've had a couple of surge trains. We seem to always flip into him scheming out. Hey, Roland Reggie. How's it going? We're going to play a speed round. I want to win. I want a win. We have played too many games with losses here today. This is my application. We will redo it. Playing two-handed? I'm not. No, I'm playing one, which... Mags is just rough one-handed. Mags is rough. But nope, we're playing one-handed. It's we we lost enough with Gambit that we're trying Rogue and hopefully we can hopefully we can figure out Rogue and get her the win. So Rogue's going to start at 11, Mags is going to start at 20. We got a tough encounter card, boarding party. Let's go. Prof turn 1 is amazing. Um, Avengers Mansion is also amazing. We're not going to be able to play Moon Girl. Audacity is not here. We got Dropkick. If we draw two cards. Okay, so we got three cards. So these are dead. So we got... That pays for Mansion. If we draw into a double, we can pay for Prof. With the Mansion. Um, we probably cannot, but I'm going to keep Mansion. And we'll just use it as a... Resource if we can't pay for it. We got Def Focus, Helicarrier, and Going Rogue. Going Rogue is also really big. Going Rogue is also really big. Random, but I got some clear sleeves that came with your quiver, and they're such nice. Qu oh, really? They're game genic, I assume. Or wait, no, quiver is Dragon Shield. Yeah, quiver is Dragon Shield, right? Okay. So, we've got Prof, we've got Going Rogue. This is not a bad start. This is not a bad start for us. Um, so, check this out. So, we are going to flip up to Rogue. We're going to thwart two here. We are going to Death Focus Power on all of us to play Prof. Prof is going to ready Rogue. Rogue is going to thwart two here. This flips. Prof is going to thwart three here. And then we've got these two for a go and rogue. And actually, we need the touched. Where's touched? Touched is going to be on mags. Go and rogue will clear orbital decay. Not a bad. I think the quiver has its own brand called Apollo. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Okay. I'll have to check those out because I'm, I'm going through a couple of different sleeve types right now. Just so I can do a, a video on it at some point. Okay, so 
to reiterate, I thwarted two, prof readied rogue. I thwarted two. I prof thwarted three. I going rogued the last three and confused my amigo. So let's stand up. We got Southern Cross, Gambit, Dropkick, X Gene, one, two, three, four, Superpower. Okay. One here. Mags is going to attack. Prof is going to block. So it's going to be three. This attack defeats an ally. Place one magnet counter. So we got two magnet counters already. We got two cards. If this is the obligation, it is not. When revealed, if there is not a side scheme, we're going to discard until we get a side scheme. Magnetic Mayhem. That amplifier icon. Ouch. Got two. Four. And then we've got Magneto's Helmet. Cannot be confused. What a rough pull. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Um. Touch comes back here. We're going to go touch onto the villain. We're going to swing to knock off the tough. We are going to use Dropkick, Superpower, and Gambit to play Southern Cross to deal six damage to Mags. One, two, three, four, five, six, and stun him. We're going to, we got X Gene. We're going to toss X Gene. We may, we're going to actually hang on to. Gambit. No, we're going to hang on to Dropkick. Okay. Stand up. We got Southern Cross. Go for Champions. Energy 2 for Sunfire. Ooh, Sunfire for Mag's Helmet. Let's go. Yes. Cool. So we got one. Mag's is stunned. And we've got an advance. Of course we do. So three plus two. We pop. We place one. This comes in with one. Okay. Encounter phase. Um. So we could Sunfire to get rid of the helmet. Or, I mean, we could just Southern Cross him again. We could just Southern Cross. Stun him again. I guess we could hang on to... Sunfire. I think I think we do that. I mean, so, so let's go Touched on Mags. Energy and go for Champions. We'll play Southern Cross, which is 6 damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, and stun. Rogue will go ahead and thwart two here. Um, we'll hang on to both of these cards. Just options. Draw into strength. That's nice. Another drop kick. And Southern Southern Cross again. Okay. <laughs> We got two here. Mags is confused. Or, I'm sorry, stunned. Then we've got... Bummer. It all had to come to an end at some point. But that guard. Dang. That's too bad. We don't have a lightning resource to pay for anything. Okay. Mm Let's go ahead and thwart here on Magnetic Mayhem. The player defeats this scheme, discards the top four cards, and they place one magnet for each magnetic card. One, two, three, four. Huge. Zero.
Let's go touched on M type. No, we'll to go touched on mags. Because I think we haven't seen any of our bulletproof bells. And so we'll go touched on mags. We'll go Sunfire and Strength to Southern Cross the M type, which will give Mags a tough card. And we'll hang on to the drop kicks. Let's stand up. That's Snow Guard, Ironheart 2, 4, and Mockingbird. Alrighty. So we got one. Mags is going to swing for three plus a boost card. We're sitting at 11 health. Um. Let's, let's, eh, let's, let's take it. So three, this attack defeats an ally, it does not. So just three, one, two, three. Magnet counter, knocks off the tough. Because of my retaliate. Was this the boost card? Okay, we'll just... Okay, so plus one. And then this is... One damage to each character you control. Place one magnet counter on the main scheme. One that triggers... Uh, you are stunned. Take one damage for each magnet counter on the main scheme. Which is zero. Okay. We will... Basic attack to knock off the stun. No, we don't have the... I guess we can just drop Ironheart. We don't have the physical resources to pay for the drop kicks, Which is sad. So let's... Oh, if we do... No, that, that's not enough. Okay, never mind. So let's go Ironheart, Snowguard, Dropkick to play Mockingbird. We get to stun an enemy. That's going to be Mags. And then Mockingbird will go ahead and hit for one. We're going to hang on to Dropkick. We'll throw Touched up here. Locust, going rogue, bulletproof bell, and rogue's jacket. We'll add one, stunned, and counter card. Exhaust each upgrade and support you control. Joke's on you. We don't have any. And place a magnet counter. This is speed round. All right, one o'clock. Okay, we're good. Again, we don't have the physical resources to pay for dropkick, which is unfortunate. Um... We're at six health. Mm, okay. We can hang on to Bulletproof Bell. And we'll go touched onto Mags. We're going to hang on to Bulletproof Bell. We will. Swing for th three? Yeah. We'll swing for three. One, two, three. And then we will toss all of these for a drop kick to deal four, which will push mags. Comes in with tough. And we deal any counter card. Let's stand up. Energy transfer. Wolverine. Vivian. Superpower. So two, four, five. We got one here. Mags is going to attack for three plus a boost card. Do we go with Bulletproof Bell here? Yep, I think we do. Yeah. So let's go Wolverine for Bulletproof Bell. So it's going to be three. Shuffle each Acolyte minion back into the encounter deck. Sinyaka. 
Okay, it's just Sinyaka, but still, not great to see. And that places a Magnet counter. I get a tough status card, and the Retaliate knocks the tough off. We've got an Unveyance. Not a bad time to pull it, so we got 4 plus 0, which pops. Place 2. Flip. Back down to 1. It's a race now, y'all. It's a race. Touch comes back here. Um, Superpower and Vivian will play Energy Trans. Actually, we're going to swing for 2. 1, 2. So he's at 20. Sorry, I forgot to reset his health. He's at 20. Touch goes here. 1, 2. Ready, Rogue. Swing for 1, 2. And we'll keep Mockingbird out. Yeah, we'll keep Mockingbird out. 16. I think we've seen all of our Southern Crosses. 1, 2, 3. Yep. So I don't think we have a lot of attack coming up. I think it's like all of our generators actually which is a little sad we will trigger another counter which could deal a damage to every character that we control with that being said let's go ahead and attack now we'll attack which will kill mockingbird okay stand up superpower going rogue bulletproof bell is nice energy transfer and spider-man okay so we'll place one. I think we don't play Bulletproof Bell. I think we I think we hang off on playing Bulletproof Bell. Or we could play Bulletproof Bell. We prevent the damage. When an enemy with touch attached, prevent all damage from that attack. So this is a force interrupt when it attacks. So it would preserve our tough status card. Um, and we get it, we we don't get a second tough status card. Energy transfer is worth six damage to us. So two, two, two. And heal two. Which I don't think I healed last time, but here we are. Um, Spider-Man is worth four damage to us. So it's definitely... We'll play, we'll play Bulletproof Bell. So he's going to attack for three. We negate. We got the tough. Last Magnet Counter. Let's see what we got. There goes Fabian. That's nice. Exhaust your upgrade and support you control. Place one magnet counter on the main scheme. I don't have any upgrades or supports because apparently that's how we're playing the game. And our encounter card is a guard. Of course it is. That's slightly unfortunate. That's slightly unfortunate. Um. Okay. Touch comes here. We're going to swing for two. We're going to toss these for an energy transfer to deal two and heal two. Ready and swing for two, which gives him a tough. And then we will stand up. This technically goes in my discard pile, unfortunately. So we got three. Hey, look. I don't understand how this is going. This is the best game so far. We have nothing on. The, maybe it's just a rush game. I haven't had a lot of success in rushing mags recent or before, but maybe it is. We get an encounter card. Sunfire and Death Focus. So we're gonna add one. Mags is going to attack us for three plus a boost, plus two. Nox are tough. We don't have retaliate. Um, and then we got two cards. We got seized. Uh oh, this could be bad. This could grab touch. Two, four, six. With an acceleration icon. And we've got wrapped in metal. We can't do anything. Let's go see if we still have our touched card. We do. That's nice. I think that is 
probably it. I, I think we've run out of steam here. Well, okay. I don't remember exactly what we have in our hand. Okay. Okay, let's go power in all of us and death focus for the X Jet. We will exhaust X Jet and here to get rid of wrapped in metal. We will use a genius to play Sunfire. Touch goes onto Mags. Yeah. Sunfire will swing for two. Hit him for two. Actually, knocks off the top. We'll stand up. X Gene. Superpower. Power in all of us. Energy transfer. Rogue's jacket. Okay. We are at eight health, so let's add two. We're at five. Mags is going to attack us for three plus a boost card. We will take it to the face. So it's gonna be five. We got one, two, three, four, five. We're down to three. Retaliate hits him for one. He's down to 14. Magnet counter. Encounter card. Assault. It's not good. Um, Sunfire will block. It's going to be three. Exhaust each ally you control. It's already exhausted. Haha. -ha. Triggers the last magnet counter. You are stunned. Take one damage. So I'm stunned. Take one damage, which is zero damage. Um, touch came, comes here. Let's go ahead and give her to stunned. We will go rogues jacket and X jet to play energy transfer to transfer touched up to here. We get retaliate. We stand up. We deal two damage. One, two, we heal two damage. One, two, and we're we have to thwart here, sadly. So let's go ahead and thwart. And we're going to toss our hand. Let's stand up. Locust. Bulletproof Bell. That's what we were looking for. Bulletproof Bell. Wolverine. Superpower. So we got two. Mags is going to attack for three. We will X-Jet for a Bulletproof Bell. Uh, plus three, we negate the damage, tough, retaliate, down to 11, one magnet counter, this is, this is fast mode, and under fire, surge, reveal the top card of the encounter deck, cannot be stunned, he gets plus one attack, and then Amelia, okay, touch comes back, we're just gonna hang on to bulletproof bell, I think? Um, we can't play Locust. Superpower doesn't do anything. Just hang on to Bulletproof. We can't play Wolverine. We don't, we can't afford it. So we have to thwart here. We'll go touched. And we'll hang on to Bulletproof. Stand up. I think we're going to run out of steam pretty quick. There's Dropkick, Snow Guard, Helicarrier, Strength. He's at 11. Ugh. Got two. This. <laughs> Got two. Mags is going to attack for three, four, plus a boost card. Um, we'll go extra for bulletproof. Uh, so three plus one. And we get another acceleration token. We negate all the damage. Amelia is going to hit us to knock off the tough. Retaliate hits Magneto for one. We're down to ten. I This is insane. I was not expecting this to go on this long. We're running right up to the end of where I could be. We got gang up. There it is. That's going to be game, right? Uh, Actually, yeah, that's going to be game.
Well, we're at five. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be game. Um, but I think it probably kills any chance that we have of coming back. So let's go ahead and defend for three plus two. So three damage. Okay. One, two, three. Millie hits us for one. Um, I think that is the third magnet counter, actually. Because I think I forgot. Retaliate hits mags. So magnet counter. You are stunned. Take one damage. So now we're exhausted and stunned. Okay. Um, we're going to go Helicarrier, Dropkick, and Strength to play Snow Guard for plus three thwart. We'll thwart three here. We'll stand up. Touch goes back there. Prof. Spider-Man. Energy Transfer. Southern Cross. Mansion. Kind of interesting. Okay. We'll add three. Mags is going to attack. We will block with Snow Guard. Um, okay. We'll block with Snow Guard. Give Magneto a tough card. That kills it. And it was face down boost card. So he has a tough card now, which is not ideal. And then we will block Amelia. She takes a retaliate. Counter card is Mags attacks us. We're dead. Ah, well, that was kind of fun though. I mean, like it was, it was an interesting, just like speed round. We got it. That was the closest game. That's that's slightly frustrating. Uh, maybe I need to just not think about it too much. Um, I, I don't think we had, we didn't have it. So energy transfer could have done two, heal two, readied. Um, then we would have to have attacked. So we, we didn't have, we, we would have lost. There was no way that we could have gotten there. However, that, however, just like seeing that makes me think that you just rush this. You just rush it. You go dive bomb. Huh. That's interesting. Anyways, I have to go. I, I'm already running a little bit late, but thank you all so very much for hanging out. My next stream is going to be Wednesday morning. We're going to pick up back Lord of the Rings, the progression playthrough. We'll figure out a time to... I will refine... Um, this is just... Uh, it's a little frustrating that we didn't get a win today, but let me see if I can go back to the drawing board and get... Um, get a win out of here. I also want to move on and do some more Hero Spotlight. So, um, but next stream is going to be Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. for Lord of the Rings. And then Friday, we are going to be doing, starting our Scarlet Keys campaign. So thank you all so very much for hanging out. Dive Bomb, thanks for the vids. Anytime, ladies, man. See you, Nelson. Thanks for the stream. Thanks, Giggity. Alrighty, I'll see you all around. Peace.